fly at home. He's going to be dumping in the next 10 days, so. Well, the day's a day I've been waiting for for several weeks. I've been watching a pretty sweet group of bowls. Nothing monstrous, but a couple, you know, I two or three solid bowls. Uh, some of the bowls shed six, seven, eight days ago, and that horn's just been laying up there. I haven't wanted to booger the herd, so I can have them all shed in one spot. Luckily, no one screwed me up, and I've uh, got a lot of horns sitting up on this side hill. Uh, it's kind of been crazy watching them because as the bulls have shed, they've just left, you know, they, they shed and leave. And yeah, I'm down to one bull he's got one he's kind of following the shed bulls that left days ago. He's way north. And, uh, you know, started with 10 down to one and they left the horns all right up here. So, a couple of cool sets we're going to pick up. Uh, this just shows you that if you leave a group of bulls alone and Everybody else leaves them alone, you get lucky. Everyone will leave them alone. You know, they'll shed, both time they'll shed right together. You can, have a, you can have a good time picking them up like we are here in a few hours. So. Shed kind of. My dad's gonna come along with me today and uh, we're gonna try to pick up four bowls, four different bowls, eight horns. I know we'll get probably seven, but one I'm kind of wondering about because the last time I saw him, he had one horn, he had a northbound, so I don't know where he shed that other side. But he had the better sight on his head either. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to go pick up some, some bone here in a few hours. So it'll be a good time. <laughs> 